Developing news, a major inconvenience for some Providence drivers after a cargo train derails overnight right on a busy street. It was breaking news on Eyewitness News this morning. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you the area, Allen's Avenue and Terminal Road. Any shutdown of Allen's is serious because it's an alternate route if Interstate 95 is backed up. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joining us now live. Patrick, good afternoon. Well, that's exactly what this is, as you say, an inconvenience uh, traffic wise. But let's give you a live look first and foremost here. OK, we could have been looking at product all over the place. God forbid an ignition of it. Fortunately, what we ended up with is some slow moving traffic. We've got one lane open in both directions now, and that is probably as good as it's going to get for a long while. Providence Fire Battalion Chief William Kenyon fully aware of the stakes and the lock. It would have been a little more challenging than it is right now if we did have a container breach and fire. Crews this noontime offloading about 30,000 gallons of ethanol from this derailed tanker car at the Motiva Terminal on Allen's Avenue. A hose inserted through the top of it. The car smashed through a fence and came off its wheels after the 80 car train arrived from Worcester around 1 this morning. Tank car had it, in fact, overshot the stop area and uh, ended up halfway into the first travel lane. Allen's Ave was shut down earlier this morning with hazmat on scene playing it safe. Officials decided to have one car buoy the vulnerable tanker. They left that attached to the derail car just to stabilize it until the product can be offloaded and that car can be lifted and put back on its wheels. Ethanol is a highly flammable renewable fuel made from plant and other materials. According to the U.S. Energy Department, 97% of the country's gasoline contains some ethanol. So as we come out here on another live look again, this is not going to be a quick process where it's told equipment has to come from out of state to assist in this removal. So expect this to be the status quo, this one lane in both direction uh, for some time. Also, you'll probably, if you can, want to stay away from here just because they have to stop traffic every time a tanker truck comes out of the fuel terminal. And when they do actually start the heavy, serious removal of this car, you could probably anticipate some closures. So best if you can find an alternate. Route. For now, live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.